Hi, Nico, everyone. Happy Friday. I think this is a Friday video. Um, I'm not going to be drawing very long today because it is hecka hot today. Should be fall. Moving into winter. It is Halloween week and it's 86 degrees and it's not even, not even noon yet. It's going to be even hotter. It's probably be closer to 90, 95. Three, something like that today. Heck a hot. Ah, anyway, I decided today, let me zoom you, oh, the wrong direction, zoom you out so you can see my hold, to do a uh, video using cheap, free, actually free art supplies. So, um, my pencil is one of those pencils you get, you know, when you, they leave it on your door, you go to a business and they give you free stuff, you know, I suspect, because it wasn't sharpened, I suspect this one was in like a goodie bag when we went to some sort of event. Um, you know how that works, you go to a, the fair or, or uh, my husband, uh, cycles and go to a, a cycling event and you get goodie bags full of all sorts of things. I suspect that this, uh, this, what is this a century 21? So some sort of, uh, home selling place. I suspect they were giving stuff away. Okay. Once again, a pen, regular ballpoint pen, came from a pool service repair place. Another one of those things they give you for free when you, uh, we've never had a pool service repair from them, but you know, probably was in a goodie bag, would be my guess. A piece of kid's chalk that I found just in my stash of old, like really old kids art supplies um, from when my son was little and my son is now over 30 years old. This is chalk that, who knows, this chalk could be from my childhood. I have no idea, but it's at least 30 years old. Um, and a piece of, I wanted a brown paper. So I just cut a piece of um, packaging from, this will happen to be from our chicken cordon blue, but uh, anyway, any sort of uh, packaging inside of a cereal box, whatever. I just cut that up to make myself a substrate and we're going to draw for free. You can do this. If you have something to draw on, doesn't matter what it is. Like I got this out of the trash. I could go right now and turn around and dig in my trash can and find, you know, uh, old, this is an old work schedule that, you know, in the bottom of my trash can, uh, see, old work schedule. Any sort of piece of trash, you can dig that out of your trash can and you can use it as your substrate. Um, and like I said, you can find pencils and pens all over the place. People are giving these things away, right? The chalk may be a little bit harder, but um, you don't have to use it. I just like to use it when I'm using a uh, mid-tone paper. Um, I could use I have some colored pencils that I got from, uh, for free from a fabric supply place. Let's see, these ones, these were given away in a goodie bag from a fabric supply place and they're just cheapo color pencils, see? And they've got their brand name on it. Um, I could use those. Anything that you get for free Absolutely. Use it as an art supply. Now, are these going to be the best colored pencils in the world? Probably not. Um, I could swatch them. Let me use my back of my piece of trash out of my trash can. Let's swatch these because I don't even know if these are any good. Eh, they're colored pencils. Are they the best color pencils in the world? Nope. Were they free color pencils? Absolutely. Are they just fine for little kid coloring? Absolutely. Are they just fine for my coloring as long as I don't care about quality? 
Absolutely. They work, right? Absolutely they work. So I could use these if I wanted to. Probably wouldn't show up on this cardboard, I'm assuming, because here's my swatch that I was testing pens. Uh, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't. Um, but there were some pens that just didn't write. So I wanted to make sure that I had a pen that actually wrote. Oh yeah, see the red works. The orange, I suspect the darker colors will be fine. I don't think the yellow will show up. Eh, a little bit. Okay, so let's do that. I've also got these free colored pencils. So I'm going to make an artwork with free art supplies. That's my job for today. I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to create myself a border. I don't think my paper is square. I just kind of eyeballed it and chopped it with scissors. I don't, I think this edge is slightly shorter than this edge. I don't think I'm square, but that's okay. doesn't matter. I'm going to draw, I'm going to make myself a little border. I'm going to draw a couple of rounds around there like that. And I'm going to make myself uh, the pattern cadent. And I'm going to go across this way with it, I think. I like to go and make my grid. When I make a grid pattern, if it's supposed to be a dot grid, which is what cadent should be, I like to draw the grid anyways in pencil just to give myself a little bit of a head. Uh, I, I don't do very good keeping myself spaced well with um, with just dots. So Caden has circles. I don't want to draw it with pencil. Let's draw it with my pen. Okay, let's make sure my pen is working before I, I did check it, but you know, you never know. Okay, so this is just a regular ballpoint pen. And I'm going to go ahead and make my circles right wherever I had an intersection of these lines. I can't see my lines. I drew them too light. Um, here and here. This is one of these patterns that I really love to draw because it's easy to do, um, but looks really impressive. Like it's, it, it seems like it would be something very hard to do, but it's really very easy to do. Okay, so you just make your circles on your grid, right? I'm gonna go ahead and do my border with my pen. And I'm going to make one of these scribbly borders because that kind of just fits my mood today. Something like that. Okay, kind of looks like a piece of toast with raisins on it. Why did I think that? I don't know. Oh, I didn't get myself a... Let's see if this eraser works because I'm not going to use my kneaded eraser because that I paid for. But let's see if this eraser works. Probably not. We may have be stuck with our pencil marks. Oh yeah, that's a lousy eraser. Lots of the free stuff have lousy erasers. Have you noticed that? Yeah, the free pencils have lousy erasers. Oh yeah, and who knows how old this pencil is. Could That could also be 30 years old. I don't know. All right, back to drawing. Um, for Cadent, you just, you draw your circles and then you just make an S shape from one to another. And I'm going to do it on the grid that I made, which was the diagonals. But you just draw an S shape from one circle to the other. Just like that. And this one would come this way. And there would be a part of a dot there. Okay. Can you see how I did that? And this way, and you see how, as I was, whoops, as I was drawing, I didn't do a really good job. Like this one, this circle is in poor shape. Look at it, 
yeah not good this one's a little better that one's better it it connects properly this one doesn't that one doesn't but you can hide it see how this one doesn't quite line up right you can hide it with that line and there you go you have fixed it see that doesn't quite line up but once I do that it's pretty much gone you can't see it anymore and I'm gonna go this way and my S shape this is easy to draw right an S shape oh that should have a, a circle there oh did I do that wrong yeah probably that's good enough okay should have one here too just to give me a landing spot do I need one here nah good enough okay so I need one here coming this way and coming that way Okay, then you turn your tile and then you just do it again. Super easy. Go across like this, across like that. It's just the letter S. A regular ink pen, a piece of trash, a pencil if you want it. You don't even have to have the pencil. You could just use the ink pen and the piece of trash. Just like so, right? And oops, this got to go this way. This one's got to go this way. This one would probably, even though you don't see your circles, would have one coming like that, just to keep that pattern moving. Just like this. And like this. And you'd probably see one kind of like that. A little bit of it, anyway. And that's it. That's Cadent. It's an easy one to draw. And then you can just embellish as you see fit. Look how easy that is. Drawn on trash with a free pen and a free pencil. Now our free pencil we're going to use to, shall we shade? Shall we color? Let's color. What, what color showed up really well? The red showed up pretty well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna color in my circles. Wind is blowing today too. It's hot and windy and very dry and this is this is definitely uh, fire danger season for our area. Usually in the fall we get what's called a Santa Ana wind and uh, the wind comes out of the mountain passes. I live just south of a mountain pass and indeed the wind comes whipping down somewhere in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range. Usually when, when these winds hit, could be a little less, could be a little more but it brings this hot, dry wind from the desert. Because the wind is coming from the uh, Las Vegas kind of area from that direction. 
you are familiar with Southern California. And that's where the wind is coming and it is hot and dry. Okay. I feel like I want some shading. Let's do shading on this edge and on this edge, I think. Just going to do two of them. I usually just do two when I shade this pattern. I don't know how much smudging I'll be able to do. Oh, I can't use my blending stump. That's all right. I've got some cotton buds. Those are cheap. What are they? Thousand in a package for like two dollars or something. Dot the dollar store. Very cheap. I don't know how many's in a package. They're way less than a penny a piece. They're probably like one tenth of a penny a piece or something. Since this pencil is uh, probably a number two, it is a little not as soft as the ones I prefer. I prefer the, you guys know I like a, a good four or six B. Nice soft pencil. But this will work. See, this is a good pattern to do while you're sitting and having other people watch you. If you've practiced it a little bit, because it is so easy. Circles and S's, and it's a good one to teach to others. Because, because it's so easy, and you can remember, circles and S's. Make a pattern of circles, and then connect them with S's. That's all you have to do. Super, super simple. We're going to give this a go and then we're going to use a Q-tip and see if it will blend any. It might not. We may have to come back over it and be a little more creative with our blending. Well, we'll see. See what happens. Come back over with the pencil and color in a little bit more tidy. You know, I don't color very tidy. Because I know I'm going to be smudging it around with my with my blending stick. But I forgot I can't use my blending stick. Not with this challenge I set before me. Oh my gosh, it's hot in here. I won't be able to draw anymore today. I was hoping to get another another couple of days knocked out, but nope. Today is going to be a one day only drawing day. That's okay. I have to get ready for, we're going on another vacation. Taking my last one before, before the holidays, before work kicks in and makes it so that it's impossible to, to take any time off. Um, just a, a quick little three day cruise. It's one of the ones that got canceled last year and got rescheduled. Uh, so, looking forward to that. Are we going anywhere fancy, special? Nope, we're going to Ensenada. It's three days to Ensenada out of Long Beach on a Carnival Miracle? Yeah, Miracle. Okay, let's get a cotton bud. Just a plain old cotton bud. And see if we can't smudge some of this. Make it a little softer. Oh yeah, that's working. Not, not as good as a blending stump, but it's working. Yeah, you can tell the difference between that and that. Let's turn it this way, because I think I want the tip of the cotton bed closer to that edge. Like that, so I can put it more flat instead of up. Put it more flat so I can smear more. I'm 
and do one of my questions. Uh, do you have Zentang any Zentangle art or do you just prefer to follow CPT? I prefer to follow CPT. Some of my earlier works are um, Zentangle based. <coughs> But I found uh, early on that I preferred to to use things like um, pencil and eraser, and so um, and I just don't follow the Zentangle method. Um, I know what it is, and I can I can follow that method if I choose to, but it's just not for me. I prefer this CPT. I would say if you don't know what CPT is, go to the website, but the website doesn't exist anymore. So I can't do that. So I imagine that the term CPT will probably disappear here in a short period of time from people's collective memory. term Zentangle probably isn't going anywhere because that's something that Rick and Maria have trademarked and they work very hard to build their business and grow their business and they have every right to do so. I begrudge nobody that, that prefers the Zentangle method to what I do. It's all just different methods, just like I wouldn't, if I was an oil painter, I wouldn't say that, you know, realism is any better or worse than abstract. It's just different, you know, it's just paint, just painting, just in different ways. Um, I throw no, no shade to the artists who follow a particular style. Absolutely none. Have I got feelings about particular people? Absolutely, I do. And those who have been around a long time will know what I'm talking about. And those who haven't, it doesn't really matter anymore. Since Pattern Collections has ceased to exist. Okay, I like that. I think I want a little bit of color there. I think maybe I'm going to put the blue right along that edge as well. Just like that. How's that? Oh, I like that. Okay. We'll just color it in with a little bit of blue just lightly. And that'll give us a chance to do another question. Uh, when and how did you first discover and get into drawing tangles? Did I tell, did I say that already on this thing? Um, I probably did, but I'll, I'll say it again. Uh, so if you've heard this story in the last couple of videos last week, two weeks, whatever. Um, move on. It's okay. Uh, fast forward. That's okay. Um, I found it while doing something called Praying in Color by Sybil, Sybil Macbeth. I think that was her name. Anyway, look up Praying in Color. And I did that for a women's retreat at my church. I was looking up that as an art uh, experience we could do together. And uh, I stumbled across, across Zentangle. I stumbled across a step out for, I don't remember what pattern, probably this one. And I thought, oh, that's easy. I could do that. And I could teach that to the ladies. And we could meditate and pray as we draw and that would be fun and that's where I started 
Could these colors have a little more payout? Yes, they could. It would be much better with a little bit color, more colorful uh, choices here, but it's okay. We're going, we're going for free here. Uh, so I'm not saying that quality art supplies don't matter because they absolutely do. What I am saying is that don't let a limitation of your art supplies stop you from drawing. I've had people say, well, I can't afford, you know, the fancy pens and the, and the, you know, Prismacolor colors and yada, yada, yada. You don't have to. You don't have to be able to afford anything. You know, bum a pen or off of somebody, bum a pencil off of somebody, get some piece of paper out of the trash and draw. Don't let, don't let the lack of, of funds stop you from creating art. Absolutely not. See, look, I love this. Love how it's turning out. And now I want a little bit of highlight, so I'm going to take my little piece of chalk and I'm just going to go like this and see what happens. I think if I was to work with this chalk frequently, I would probably give it a little bit of a sharpen with a knife. But I'm just Using it like this is fine. Now oh, we'll use the other side of my cotton bud to blend out the chalk. Give me that highlight that I want. Although just like that works good, but I think I want it a little softer. I'm going to use the other side of this same cotton bud. And I'm just going to come over here. Oops, I missed a spot. And I'm just going to soften Oop, that might erase it all together. It's a very soft piece of chalk. Is it getting it too erased? Maybe. Maybe. Let's draw a little darker. Let's get a little more chalk in that fiber of the paper. <clears throat> Be a little bold here, Don. Learn about your supplies. See, that's another thing, is play with your supplies and learn about their uh, different properties. Clearly, this chalk is very erasable, which I suppose chalk is. <sighs> so I'm just going to soften the edges, but I'm going to leave a lot of that chalk on there. Just like that. See the difference between this and that? How this is just nice and soft. I'm going to prepare some of my artwork for gifting for when we're on vacation. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'd never heard about or seen them until I found your channel and now I'm hooked. Not only is it extremely relaxing when you watch you draw tangles, but I found that it's very relaxing to draw them myself. Absolutely. Do you do any other type of art? Do you have any recommendations for a 41 year old beginner? Uh, i.e. if on a budget, which art supplies are must haves? What are your favorite art supplies, favorite mediums? Boy, lots of questions here. Um, I will go into those. I'm not going to finish this question. I'm going to go into that, uh, answers, um, on another video, but this one kind of answers one of the questions, which is you don't have to have fancy art supplies to do this kind of work. Look at that. That was not fancy. That was cheap. That was basically free. I don't know where the chalk came from. Old, 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 old. A cotton bud you have around the house. A ballpoint pen and a pencil that I got for free in some sort of goodie bag. And a piece of trash for my substrate. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I, 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 
emphasizing that you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can do this with free art supplies. So you go out and find something to draw on today. Doesn't matter what it is. If you don't have any good paper to draw on, go in the trash and find yourself a chunk of blank paper. Go grab a pen or a pencil out of your stash. If you have colored pencils so that you can color, that's great. If you don't, that's okay because you don't have to color. Um, you know, if you don't want the white, that's fine. You don't have to have the white. All of that stuff, it's all up to you. Go around your house, find what you have, and draw something. Yes, I'm yelling at you. I am yelling at you guys. Draw something. It really, really is fun, and it's relaxing, and they don't have to be difficult. Cadent is the one one of the few that is just stuck in my head that's super easy to draw and um, I can do it anywhere absolutely anywhere and it comes out beautifully and you can use different variations with this you can aura it you can say what if what if I put stripes in every other square so it looks like a checkerboard what if I fill in the dots with uh, the ink and make it completely black. What if actually these? I think it, I think this pen is dark blue, but that's okay. Um, what if I use it as the background to something else? You know, ask those what if questions. Play around with it and have fun. Really, honestly, have fun with your art supplies. Don't stress over the newest, greatest, best. I know it's a it's a it's a thing on YouTube to watch people get their hauls and spend a lot of money on art supplies. And I have spent some money on art supplies, but that doesn't, the point, that's not what makes me happy. The, the, the amount of money I've spent on art supplies does not what makes me happy. What makes me happy is playing with my art supplies. So it doesn't matter which ones you have. If you can afford good, good supplies, yes, I can absolutely tell you that 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 quality does. Um, there is a difference in quality, but does it matter that you can't draw if you don't have my pen? As so I get that a lot, I say, "Well, what pen are you using?" Well, it doesn't matter. I use a fine liner. It doesn't matter what brand fine liner. Pick one. You don't have to use a fine liner. It's the the supplies I use do not dictate the outcome that I can get because I've practiced my drawing. You need to practice your drawing skills and not worry so much about the art supplies. Once you've got gained some art, some skills, then if you want to upgrade to better art supplies, cool. If you can't afford it, that's okay too. I'm just telling you, don't shame yourself. Don't shame others for um, the, the, the amount of supplies that they can afford. Because you can absolutely do this art, this art thing on a budget. Absolutely. You guys have a great day. <clears throat> Apparently, I need to get a drink of water. I'm going to go pack myself a bag for my next trip. And get out of this studio because a heck of hot and I can't open the windows because the wind is blowing and yada, yada, yada. All these excuses. Whatever. Anyways, go out and do something nice for someone today. Gift somebody some art supplies if you can afford them and somebody else can't. Gift them some. Either clean out your stash because like I have, give, I have art supplies flipping everywhere. Clean out your stash or um, go buy new, whatever floats your boat, uh, and, and gift them to someone who, who's in need. Take, your, take extra art supplies over to your local school. Take it to your daycare. Um, take it to a senior center. Uh, give somebody else the gift of art. That just makes everybody's day. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a blessed one.
拜拜。